Hey guys, I am Psychic Mara. I'm sure a lot of you have already heard. A third arrest was made in connection with murders of a pregnant teen, Savannah, and her boyfriend, Matthew. Murda Romanos was arrested on Wednesday and will face three felony charges for her role that she played in the unaliving of Matthew and Savannah. I wanted to tap into the energy right now just to find out what we can expect. What do we need to know? I shuffled some cards. I meditated over the cards. Very first card that came out, water. Now this is very interesting and let me tell you why. If you look at this card, you see three sharks, the ringleader right in the middle. And I feel like that ringleader is Ramon, the father. You see another one right on the bottom, not far from his father, Christopher's energy. In the far corner, you barely see that shark. It's kind of peeking out a little. I feel like that's the last person they arrested, and that's the stepmother. All three related. All three connected. Family. This tells me what we will hear in the near future is they will turn on each other. They will to save their own ass. Ramon, I feel, will be the speaker. He's the one that they will be able to get more information from. I mean, you remember when they were escorting Ramon to the vehicle to take him away? Right before he got into the vehicle, reporters were calling out to him to ask questions and Ramon answered in his own little way. He's like, you guys don't know what you're talking about. Fake news. Yeah, Ramon shouted out fake news. But of course, we know that's not true. We know it's real news. We know that. And so does he. But he was bold enough to shout that out. Almost as if he was confident, like he knew something else behind what really happened, behind what him and his son and now stepmom has done to that couple. He knows something. He's withholding bigger information, in my opinion. If you were to ask me right now, you know, Mara, do you feel there's a fourth person? I would say, again, in my opinion, yes, without a doubt. There's one more. But then, of course, there's probably more and more. Because there's always somebody behind another person. I feel like this was planned. This family participated for selfish reasons. Yeah. There's one more person. Male energy, younger male energy, younger than Ramon and his girlfriend or wife, but a little older than Christopher. Yeah, this is what I feel. One more. They will be able to get information out of Ramon. I'm telling you that right now. He is going to break the stepmom, quiet. Christopher, cold and quiet. But that dad, 
He's going to talk. They can break him. Even though they have evidence, you know, they have footage of what was seen, what was done. Um, there's still more details that need to be filled in. Yeah, there's definitely someone else. We are going to hear about them changing their stories. Uh, Ramon, uh, you know, being the talker. Uh, then we'll hear about how they're turning against one another, you know. Um, yeah. The mom's quiet now, the stepmom, but I feel like at some point when she is ready to talk, she is going to kind of pin it on father and son. I feel like she already has from what I understand, but but I cannot wait for them to expose the fourth person. Because I feel the fourth person exists. But they are all going to be out for blood. Meaning arguing, changing stories, pinning it on each other. It was her idea. It was his idea. Yeah. Let's see what else came out here. So we have air. And when I see air, airplane, it tells me one thing. News is to come, and it's coming in fast. There's going to be news flying in, news about the whole entire situation. So someone will talk. Again, I feel like the ringleader, Ramon, his energy right there. Can't miss him, right? <laughs> Can't miss him. Um, He's getting ready to tell on someone else or speak up about someone or something. This is what I feel. Everything is allegedly my opinion. But with air, it's coming in quick. And this could be investigators, detectives getting ready to move in on someone else, okay? It's possible they're headed towards another direction, into another location, getting ready to speak to, interview, maybe another witness, okay? There is a little energy of, you know, not just the fourth person being involved, but a eyewitness that did actually see what may have happened as far as the unaliving of Matthew and Savannah. Somebody seen something. Yeah. And I feel like they are going to speak to this person or the person was being protected and they're getting ready to come out. We're going to hear about this uh, secret witness. Okay. A little bit of that is coming in. So I feel like, you know, um, authorities are definitely, you know, getting ready to move in, move in quick <laughs> to speak to someone. Okay. I can really feel that we will hear about that. And again, at the same time, they're headed in, um, another direction as well. Um, yeah, they're definitely going to speak to someone, bring in someone in for more questioning. There's a little bit more to this. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. We're going to hear about it. A lot of people have been asking, where did the unaliving happen? Where did Savannah and Matthew lose their life? The thought is even in my head as well. And this could be why. These came out together, which I find very interesting. Okay. We have endings and home. And I know a lot of people say, no, the garage was just too, you know, packed. It didn't happen in the garage, you know. Um, and some people say it happened around the home. 
I will say this. I feel like it happened at the home. If not in that garage, but I strongly feel garage. There's something about the back of their home that's coming up as well. I mean, they have a pretty big home. There's something about the back of their home. And I don't know how it looks, okay? It's significant. It could mean anything. I don't feel like uh, these attacks happen far. Hmm. I still get garage, you guys. Let me know in the comment section what you get. Their endings right here. You see it. Their endings happened at home. Not their home, but the home of Ramon, Christopher, and stepmom. Yeah. One more person I feel uh, that lives there with them that took off before all this came out. Male energy. We may even hear about that, okay? Yeah. They lost their life around or right at that family's home. This is what I feel. Um, hmm. I, I wish that like I had a picture of the back of their home. Wherever it was, it was on the inside. Like no one could really, and we all could, we know what shots sound like shots fired. You know, we know what it sounds like. Um, and sometimes we don't know, is that a firecracker or is that, you know, what's going on? That sounds like a gunshot, you know. Um, it's even possible that, remember what I said, uh, authorities moving in towards this eyewitness that they protected up until now. Um, this eyewitness is getting ready to say, yeah, you know, uh, I heard shots or I seen them uh, pulling out of this garage or pulling out of this parking lot or something happened at Ramon's business. Okay. That could be a possibility. Someone definitely seen something I'm telling you. And they're going to talk about it or, uh, we are going to hear about it. You know, could be too soon. This is not trial, but it's going to come out. It will be exposed. Yeah, wait for it. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, so you guys, you know, allegedly, here's your answer. They lost their life around their home. Around, you know, Ramon's and Christopher's and stepmom's home is what I feel. That's where their life ended. But we know there was a struggle. We know there was movement. Yeah, I see something about that garage. No one, man. Hmm. Maybe it's the garage down the street, but like, because there's cameras everywhere, you know, in most places. Hmm. It's going to come out soon. We are going to find out that location where the struggle happened, where the confrontation happened. We're going to find that out really soon. It's coming in. I'm telling you guys, you know, everybody is just, we all want to know where, where, where. And I can only tell you what I pick up. Definitely on the inside. So if not the garage at their home that I hear is all packed and there's no possible way, right? Then definitely at Ramon's business or... This car, I keep, I told you guys, I picked up on a big parking lot, a big lot. Again, that same ass garage that I keep repeating. I know y'all tired of hearing it, right? <laughs> that keeps coming up parking lot. Like a car or auto place. It definitely went down. Um, wow. This was planned as well. I feel like it was planned. Um, I'm going to do a part two. I may go live with the part two and talk about why this family plotted on Matthew and Savannah. I want to go live with that information because they did plot and it had a lot to do with money, a lot to do with money, um, being selfish, what they can gain 
what they can take and steal from Matthew. Yeah. To help support their self, their habits and debt. Something about debt coming in here, but we'll save that for a live. Okay. Yeah. Stay tuned. There is definitely more to come. Okay. So I will talk to you guys in the next one. Mara.